next. Codes. Select. Active. Out of range low. John Deere 329D. Common, common, common. Common issue. I'll show you how to, what to look for and how to fix it. There you go, John Deere 329D. Common issues. Today's park brake solenoid. Right there, you're pretty easy to find. This way, up there, most, most likely not. It's usually a wire problem. Okay. As you can see here, there she'd be. Pretty common. Common with these, common with those. Easy peasy. Let's go back at it. No big deal. I'm not going to just change the one, I'm going to change them both. So you're going to need a couple of those. You know, a pair of really good strippers. These are my favorite. Some Deutsch connected things. And a pair of these. This here is your crimper for those connectors. Works very well. Just going to open her up. Ladder in, facing up, tighten it down, just click. You'll be able to slide your wire in there, you press down and it gives you a good crimp. I like to press down even further down and give it a double crimp. Nice pick. Take this take this lock off and get in there. And you got your other locks holding your uh, doy connectors. Let's pull them out. I like to use a little bit of, uh, you know, WD-40 or whatever to put them back in in the back afterwards. As well as, uh, you know, give it a little bit of slippage right here. Oh, it's nice and easy to take back in and out. Pretty straightforward. Pretty common stuff. For those of you who've already seen these, you're probably looking at it going, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we know that part. There you go. Easy peasy simple. Whoops. I stand corrected. It's not those ones I wanted, it's these ones. Good thing I got. Look how far back this player broke, actually. Goodness. Oh. It is what it is. 